Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and we're coming back again to play a little RimWorld with the new ideology DLC today. Um, we're doing a little bit different. This is a little bit different n new and alien experience for me because I'm trying something out where I am actually doing a live stream via dis Discord. This may something be something that comes up in the future. Um, uh, when I get a Patreon set up, but uh, I might do um, LP recordings with uh, a live uh, streaming audience, as it were. Um, not on Twitch. And I do Twitch streaming, too, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get started today. I'm going to get a little help from, from my friends uh, Vic and Kitty. Uh, and we're going to try this game out, which I know... I, I, I don't know anything about the DLC, but... Um, it's gonna be fun. We'll we'll give it a shot. So we're gonna start a new colony today. We've got a few mods going. Um, basically, all UI stuff. Um, we don't have numbers right now because it's not updated to the proper um, thing. Um, I think we're gonna do crash landed right now, and um, I, we don't have prepare carefully, so we don't really have a lot of options to work with. Um, and. It's nice because I get this little chat, uh, Discord chat to work with, so I can get a little help uh, deciding some things that otherwise I would have to decide myself. And that's nice. It's a nice uh, feeling there. So we'll go with um, Crash Landed. It's a pretty standard one. You get three people to work with. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be a little nuts for me. I'm thinking of going Randy Random today. And I'm thinking of going a little bit higher difficulty than I normally do. Um... I believe I usually do like strive to survive or something. I might try blood and dust. I don't know. Kitty, Dan, what do you th or, uh, Kitty, Vic, Dan, other name. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh yeah, Vic, you'll have to tell me um, whether you want Victor or Dan as your name. Uh, blood and dust sounds fun. All right. And Vic. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna say reload anytime mode, just because. And we got a second on that. Beautiful. Let's take that. Um, I'm gonna randomize the seed. And we'll say encampment. That sounds great. Uh, we'll just go with a 30% coverage right now. Um, I'll stick with the normal stuff. Do you guys, do you guys think about that? <gasps> you can add factions? Was that a thing? You can actually remove gene lines and and hives oh a nudist tribe come on faction control in game i know this is this is unprecedented stuff cannibal pirate gang awesome neighborhood faction um i don't know if we get to control it um of course our our faction will be the neighborhood um let's see i think this setting right now cannibal tribe this is this is kind of fun stuff. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we add? Um, I, I'm actually worried about going with the Cannibal Pirates or Cannibal's Tribe because that mean that means we'll likely get eaten. Add the nudists. <laughs> Adding the nudists. Perfect. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love this. It's a little strange experience, and I apologize for everyone. Um, Otherwise, keep it as, as it is. That sounds great to me. That sounds great to me. Let's do that. Let's generate this. Um, so we got Harmony, which is required for a lot of these other ones. We're just going to show draft these weapons. Fahrenheit and Celsius, which just mods how the temperature is shown. And uh, we got the color-coded bar so we can get mood and stuff uh, correctly dis or, um, reasonably well displayed. So we can actually see that without being able to tell how terrible or uh, without having to read the actual uh, level. Yeah, cannibal pirates sounds great. I'm I I'm worried about getting kidnapped and then eaten. Whereas getting kidnapped is fine. You know, you can always get them back or rescue people. But uh, you know, getting eaten that's scary. We'll have to try that later. Maybe uh, um an actual like stream situation or an actual full on stream situation. Um, future LPs uh for other games might be done in a very similar fashion where I can get uh uh kind of streaming responses to certain ideas and people can help me decide where to go again that might be a patreon thing um for now i'm just doing uh it's with admin people all right where do we want to go today do we want to do um do we want to do coastal do we want to do 
What kind of situation do we want to be in and where? <laughs> I swear you left with two arms. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, not too far north. I don't want to do... Yeah, easy temperate forest. Um, coastal, probably. We could do something basic. <laughs> gonna go for the easy temperate forest because we're gonna experience uh, new stuff. The on the llama forest, Old Nose Island. That could be a thing. Oh, let's see. What's the uh? That's temperate forest. I don't want to be too isolated. I want to be able to. If we're gonna do. Settle near a bunch of... Settle near a bunch of pirates. That'd be a good idea. Sounds like a terrible idea. Um, I don't even know if coastal is actually a good idea. We could pick somewhere like, uh, mountainous. And that's another thing that I'm thinking about for, for Patreon is... When I'm starting... Harsh Chinchilla Isle. We almost have to. Well, we'd never be able to get anywhere. Um... I really kind of want to, though. Let's see here. It's too far south. I'm going to stick to try try to stick to about the 40 area. I think coastal is pretty good. We've got large hills here. Uh, temper forest or hills where the three lavender houses are. Like right up here. I arranged, it, I arranged it in Steam logo fashion. Yeah, like this, right here. Okay. Um, that's... That's... That's, uh... That's at 46. And down the road. Put it right here. Let's see. What, what faction is this? They're neutral, so... Could just go... Yeah, like right here. Let's do it up. There are no chinchillas on the aisle. If there are no chinchillas, you'll feel it. Oh, Okay. So, Boreal Forest down here. Oh, um... Let's do right there. How's that feel? Does that feel good? One to the left or right of there? Okay. Let's go with... Let's see. Large Hills. I like Large Hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Um... Oh, oh, this is fun stuff. Okay. All right. Select your faction on the left or create a custom ideologian. Okay. All right. We should go through these pretty quick. We'll do the narrative. We'll read the narrative and see what what's going on here. This is this is all new stuff from the uh, the DLC here. Um. So we got the ancient architect uh, architectnics, ancient ar uh, architects of the gods we were always waiting for. At death, the architects. Examine the unique morality of each person. Someday, the architects will finish their moral debate about the fate of humanity. Those who follow their signs will be admitted to a higher plane of existence, and those who do not will end. Sounds quality. Um, all right, so we got the uh, super yairism. Yairusism, excuse me. Um, for, for an eternity, there was a world of black dust until Yairus created the planet and the stars. The faithful fought the unbelievers, and Yairus said, Fight them everywhere in my name until I am worshipped throughout the universe and the true peace may finally reign. Across the vast stellar distances, Yairus will sustain the life of mankind against the vo void. So we got individualist, supremacist. Oh, um, got the, I wonder if these are, these are standard or if these are randomized. Um... So you have Path of Animism. A parallel universe of spirits lies next to our own. A seemingly inanimate object in this universe corresponds to an animated spirit in the other. In the darkness, the spirits are peaceful and satisfied. In the light, they are annoyed and restless. Our book says that a powerful spirit uh, of destruction will seek it to end the universe, but that a man will wield the spirit of the manly Gladius and destroy the destroyer. Um, oh, fun. They've got... They've got preference for, like, combat and stuff? Oh, this is dangerous stuff. Um, uh, 
uh, petition, <laughs> Vic's petitioning for custom transhumanist uh, uh, ideologic uh, ideologian. Um, Oh, well, there is a, there is a, there is just a transhumanist one. We could just go for that. Descend beyond the mortal limits and become a machine. Perfect. Meat eating horrible. Oh, oh, this is all fun. I'm not going to read all these because these are all very interesting. Let's see here. Um, let's look at their, their particular things. So <laughs> high life. Perfect. Um, oh, this, this, this is going to change a whole bunch of stuff. I never even thought about that. If we've got, uh, precepts, execution, horrible, if innocent, uh, we could have just people, an ideal, uh, an ideologian that could have like execution required. See, that's terrifying. Okay. Right there. That's awesome. Uh, nudism, guilty nature, primacy. Hmm. <laughs> Fair point, Vic. That's perfect. Pointed out that the the, uh, the icon here is a little <clears throat> possibly phallic in nature. Um, cutting trees disapproved. Oh goodness. God of nudity. Interesting. Um, I would say to get things started. To get things started, we want to try something out. Oh God, there's so much. There is so much. Oh, fun. These must be randomly generated. These must be randomly generated. I'm excited to do this as a um, as an actual stream where we can get like... We might have to plan this out, how things are going to go. It's time for a pause and discussion. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a pause here. Okay, so we've decided we're going to do a basically a random religion. Um, so this is the, uh, the, the structure for it. And it looks like all the religions are generated every time or every time you start, which is really cool because you can randomize all. So we'll take the ideological icon. That last one is just the icon. Um, this are the, I believe, the basic... Um, the basic foundations for our ideology. I think we'll do a random one. Um, it's low to high impact. So and you'll see these little these little um, pips in the corner. They indicate the the level of impact that they have. And I think we'll just do a random one. Maybe not too high impact. Overall impact five strong. Um, let's go with Matrix Agents. Okay, um, that's that's too much too. I, I want to keep it low-ish. Oh my god, Loyalist Tunneler. That sounds dangerous. Which one? Yes to what? Ooh, goodness. Oh, Matrix Agents. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to randomize three times here. Tunnel of Transhumanists. <laughs> you feel that one? I don't know what this even means here. Um, it's our duty to spread beliefs. Actually, yes. So let's take that. I'll randomize three times. And you know what? I'm just going to say we'll take it. I'm feeling crazy right now. Two three okay that's so much tree connection darkness loyalist all right let's do it let's do it neo ideology um oh that's cool um dark light preferred combat and darkness preferred this is gonna get to this is gonna become a nightmare um once i we might start another um let's play series later on once i actually get kind of an idea of how this goes and <laughs> Neo ideology. He is the one. Yes. Um, 
Organ use, no harvest. Ah. Male clothing, pants. Ah. Okay, so well, let's let's take that. We're gonna move on here, and of course, we're gonna get things started here. This is a lot. This is gonna be a long episode just to to get things figured out. Um, I'm gonna get some help from everybody here to get an idea of what we're working with. What is this? <gasps> favorite colors. People have favorite colors now. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Um, all right, so. All right, to my friends in chat, what are the, Kitty and Vic? What are our primary things that we're gonna want? We want okay, incapable of caring, artistic, mining, pretty lazy and kind. But but look at this! Look at these stats right there. All right, Vic's got Hans. So. You want full name here, Victor? That's that's fine, perfect. Okay, so um we got Vic settled on. You got a bite scar. Um you've got a lover who may or may not be coming with us. <laughs> um let's take let's take a look at the other ones. Um so we got a constructor um shop kid. Uh we probably want someone with an adult um, background, I'm guessing. So, let's see. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. Um, undergrounder, quick sleeper, jealous. I want to, I want to shy away from jealous. Let's see what other ones we got. We want, we got, we've got a construction. For someone who's lazy. So, global work speed minus 20%. Eh, you know, whatever. Um, we're gonna want someone with probably intellectual, like, I think medical. Plants and social. So, I am going to keep going with that. We don't want a pyromania, for God's sake. Body modder. I feel like that's a new one. Conceptual artist. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, VR de designer, incapable of dumb labor. High plants and artistic. Night owl, iron willed undergrounder. Actually, I think that is probably going to be one of our people for sure. Um, I'll try to get a cook here. Um, actually. Good for we're good we're awesome for plants here. Um, incapable of dumb labor though, so we're gonna have to be worried about that. Incapable of caring, artistic, mining. <gasps> Miner. That's what I'm not thinking about. That's what I'm forgetting about. We need we need someone who mines. We need someone who mines. Um, because our mining is is trash right now. Um, our cooking is pretty bad too. Not, not great. I'll randomize this one. We'll see if we can get um, uh, someone who can cook and mine, hopefully. Good. We're gonna get something real nice. Ooh, plants and cooking and medical. Fast walker, night owl, kind. Kitty, I think we found you. You're 85, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're 85 with no health conditions. About as old as you feel. Um I think I want I want to do that one, but the 85 is a problem and we do want someone who minds. So I'll keep going for something else here. Let's name Oh, <laughs> I just realized York and Victor might be a little bit at odds with their relations here. But it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, all right. In honor of the meme you've just placed, I'm going to name um, York George. So we'll go with that. Mining, not great. 
Uh, but we got the we got the intellectual, we got all that stuff, and we don't have anyone who's socially inclined. So this will be fun. We'll figure it out. Let's try it out. You can shoot him if he's at odds. Get the highest shooting of the team. That's fair. That's fair. Just put him down. We'll be good. Everything will be fine. All right. There are three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this un unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded sh starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. And guys, go ahead and, and you know, make suggestions as I go along. Um, feel free in chat. I'll, I'll try to get things to go myself. And try not to worry too much about stuff. Um, but feel free to suggest a way. <gasps> There's a search function! Oh my god! Sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I feel like everything is different right now, and it's amazing, and I love it. Okay. So. Oh my god. Okay. It's been so long since I've actually played this game. So let's just put a stockpile in. And we'll say that that's for everything. Let's see. Can we... Let's just um, allow everything here, everything there, everything there. What is this junk? Ancient stove? Can I use that? Smash and rustless. Completely useless now. That's awesome. Even look, we got ancient nav beacons and stuff. Ancient vending machine. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Search! Oh, right. We gotta look at stuff. Um, let me allow things and make sure... Ancient Warwalker shell? That sounds horrible and amazing. Wait, we can't... We can't deconstruct this? Okay, let's take a look around here and just kind of see what we got, what we're working with on the map here. I'll try not to get too sidetracked by ancient post boxes and ancient pipeline sections, which are incredibly fun. Um, so, this looks to me like an ancient danger. Okay, that's a good start there. Um, we've got a ton, a ton of steel over here. Um, we've got that. We've got some gold right here. We've got, what are you? Ancient giant wheel. Perfect. Um, ancient large crate. Interesting. Is this... Uh, too rusted to store anything. Well, that breaks my heart. All right, some components here. Back to machinery, rather. Uh, steel. More steel. Ancient jet engine. Again, I am surprised that... Valuable parts were looted long ago. Huh. Interesting. So some things you just can't... Ancient razor wire? Oh, fun. Hey, look, guinea pigs. All right, um, so we're good with that. Ancient War Rocker Torso. I wonder if we can reassemble this. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? Re reassemble our whole situation here. Yeah, mechas, baby. Looks like good stuff here. Um, more compacted machinery. I'm not seeing... I think we've only got the one Ancient Danger from what I can tell. And, that, and that's pretty nice. I wonder what we'll find there when we ever get to that point. Um, couldn't say. It looks like... Ooh, ancient fence. I'm wondering what it, uh, new build options are available to us, because it seems like there might be some more fun stuff involved in this. We'll see as we go along. Um, our first priority, I believe, is going to be vomiting. Puking on the ground. That seems like the reasonable... That seems like the way to go. Um, so we got everything here. Let's get every everybody sorted with respect to uh, weaponry, um, with gear. Okay, uh, you're incapable of violence anyway, George. So, Vic, you're gonna be our shooter. So after you're done with that, we'll have you equip that kitty. You are, I guess, gonna be our melee. Um, I kind of would actually have you rather shoot stuff. I suppose. Uh, even though you don't have the uh, the skill yet. Um, but let's get some stuff together there. Let's think about what we want to do. Let's cut some trees down. Make sure we get some wood. 
for constructory purposes. Um, and kind of get everything in one place if we can. Let's speed things up. Looks like we've got uh, food sources here if we need to. <laughs> Stand by Stabby because chefs have knives. That's fair. That's fair. Um, you're technically... Technically not the chef. Though we could have you as the auxiliary chef. For sure. Um, good for food and stuff. I suppose we should set up everything. George, if you are incapable of violence, why are you wearing armor? Why are you wearing flak pants? Who gave you that? Who? What? No. Just, no. Go. This is, this is untenable. What, what's wrong with you? Okay. Get rid of that stuff. Take your pants off. And your vest. Yes. No. We want to get you to get that. that those synth red pants, baby. Alright. And... Unforbid those. Okay, good, good. Alright. Getting things arranged. Um, gonna have to have a refuse pile somewhere. Let's see. Where's a good spot? Don't know. I always forget about the setup portion of this. Take your pants off. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, just because you're not a violent person doesn't mean you can't protect your butt. That's a fair point. That is a fair point. All right, dumping stockpile. I'm going to put you... Where am I going to put you? Just going to zoom out here and let's take a look around. Somewhere that's reasonably accessible. Let's just kind of put you down here for now. So... Everything that we're going to dump, that's going to be a ways away. That's fine. Ooh. Let's look at growth situation here. See if we can figure out where we're going to want to. We might want to start. Oh. This is kind of tricky, actually. <laughs> George gets shot in the butt. Oh, my. Yeah, George was named after George Decay, by the way. I don't know if you had ever actually cemented that. Um, okay, so growth area probably going to be over here if we do any of that. Let's see. Let's get let's get everybody inside um, somewhere. Get somewhere to sleep inside. We can probably just set something up real basic right over here. <gasps> what is this? What are you? Animal flap? Oh, fun! Actual fences! My god. Oh my god, this is so good. This is a good start. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm just gonna make a small kind of little closed off area here. A double door situation. Um, make sure that that gets inside. So we'll... Build a roof if there is none. Should appear as there is not. Ooh, that's another thing I want to take uh, take a look at here is our roof situation. Do we have any open things with overhead mountain? No, so we're good there. Thankfully, we didn't do too much of that stuff. Okay. I always forget my forget my priorities here. I don't know what to start, what to do, and uh, what needs to be done. We can move, um, let's get some sleeping, uh, spots inside here. So everyone can have somewhere to sleep inside. <gasps> Dark light, what? This is fun. I don't even know what's happening. Specially treated wooden torch that produces a dim light over a large radius. People who prefer dark light work best with this light source. Can be automatically refueled with wood. Produces a small amount of heat. Standing dark lamp. That's fun. Bonsai pot. Sorry, bonsai. You gotta get technical there. It's bonsai. That is nice. This is nice. This is fun. Okay. And we got some steel right there. Let's see, our priorities. Getting stuff on. Oh, a dog named Mud. Oh, let's let's get Mud a sleeping spot here. Animal sleeping spot. There you go. You can sleep inside too. My buddy who is named Mud. 
Okay, let's take things that are going to deteriorate outside and put them inside. So, um, let's do that right now. Let's get our, let's get my mind right. Um, we'll just make a big old stockpile here. So this is, so we're going to do clear all, we'll do foods, we'll do manufactured items, weapons, apparel. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I can never remember if that's, it's the, if that's for, uh, corpses or not. Um, because we don't want anyone, like, there. And then, of course, here we'll do kind of the inverse stuff. So, take the foods off. Manufactured. Some raw resources we'll have to take inside, so, like, plant matter. Oh, I can never remember what I have to, I have to go through and do all this again every time. It'd be nice if there was a nice setup, um, situation. Uh... Just a, just like um, something that you can keep specific settings um, for when you start a civilization or start a uh, colony. So plant matter, wood needs to be inside, I think. Items, weapons, apparel, buildings can stay inside. And let me change this to reflect. The same. So wood needs to come inside. And plant matter. Okay. I think that should be good. He said unconvincingly. Alright, let's harvest what we can. Make sure we get all of that available for us. And I will make a stone dumping stockpile. Just right here so we can get things all together. So here, we'll do no corpses, just chunks. And here, we're going to do just corpses. Uh, specifically, not animal. And then, let's make another dumping. And this one will be just animal corpses. Beautiful, fun, good, excellent. Yeah, preset loadouts. That would be real nice. All right, let's get that stuff hauled out of the way. We got granite and limestone. It looks like we're working with. That is cool. That is cool. I am all right with that. It's functional, functional, functional. Let's get some of this wood chopped up. This is going to be just our primary work area for now. Got everybody inside. We're all good. <laughs> Notice me. I don't know if it'll make a sound if you leave the chat. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Don't hit Discord sound bomb. That's fair. It might. Eh, you know, whatever. That works. Um... Yeah, have a good night. Got a, got someone leaving. So, yeah, we'll try this. Because um, I'm I'm actually... We're rounding out the end of this episode. Though it's taken quite a bit to get to this point. Um, we will continue off at a later time. But this is... Uh, shaping up to be a fun little exploration of our new... Of the new DLC. Minor break risk. That need recreation... Neck need recreation variety oh my god that's right we need to put something down so let's do that let's do recreation put a horseshoes pin down we'll put it right here there we'll put it right there and i'm surprised there's not more uh recreation i'm afraid to look at research right now very afraid um all right minor break risk what's going on with you guys didn't I tell you to take that flak vest, uh, that vest off? Oh my goodness, why? All right, your needs. Let's take a look. Trees harmed. Oh God. Blinding light. Oh no, my senses are overwhelmed. Uniform thoughts. <laughs> oh goodness. This is going to be, 
This is gonna be interesting. I really like how this is. This is really cool. This is really cool. Um... Dark light preferred. Okay, so we might have to have some sort of indoor situation here, but... Yeah, that is something that we'll have to explore for next time. And I might have to have um, some people do a little research for me or something. I don't know. <laughs> might even have to do some research for myself. Who knows? We'll figure it out as we go along. It'll be fun. We'll have fun. Um, but yeah, once we get uh, things going, it'll be good stuff. Um, this is where we'll cut it off. Anyway, I do want to say, you know, uh, as we're on, on our way out, thanks to everyone who's, uh, who's um, you know, checking out the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed, you know, comments, you know, likes videos. That's all extremely helpful. It's all very good um, uh, stuff. Um, everyone who comes in the Discord chat, everyone who checks out the stream on the weekends, uh, the Twitch stream on the weekends. Um, I love having you guys by. It's great stuff. Anyone who dis um, who uh, uh, donates. Uh, via coffee i appreciate all that everything you guys do does help and it really really does help i want to say that um and if you guys are wondering uh ways to, that you can support the channel or you know find me in other places you can check out the the uh, description down below for all the resources and links and stuff or on the uh, main page it'll tell you all about coffee discord um the twitch you know that sort of thing and you can check out the you know just the video or the the youtube channel um, to find other Let's Plays and earlier uh, stuff as well, or future stuff. Um, anyway, uh, thanks to everyone who came to check out the video. really appreciate you coming by. Um, from my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.